are always awaiting, you know, it's always in the future. You know, a lot of people believe that the book of Revelation was written about uh, 70 AD when the Romans destroyed Jerusalem. I mean, it might not even be about what you're all talking about. It's being about, you know, that's a possibility. There's a lot of possibilities that, that, that we just, we take these things and run with them and, and we have all these end time theories and theologies and it's like they might not even have a inkling of a truth in it. We made all this the good guys and the bad guys. We made it a story like, you know, like whatever, Shakespeare or something. Like. And uh, Romeo and Juliet. And, and uh, uh, but anyway, well, you know, go ahead. It would be like we've seen TV programs, uh, you know, The Good Life. We already have The Good Life. And so we've been making choices. Uh, and a mental choice that we make is because what we think is what will make us acceptable. Are you kidding me? I mean, as we begin to get into this deeper and deeper, we're already the kingdom of God. It's already in us. We're already a God in this earth. So why do we have to think that we're not, which changes the whole scene or the whole picture again? I mean, everything, it, what, what's it say? It says uh, godliness and everything we, that pertains to life. We've given everything. He's given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. So why do we want to change that That's a with our big thoughts? Deal. That's a pretty big Walmart space. Yeah. You know, I mean, was that what typically though? You don't receive that, but you receive that you know that you sinned and you're you know you go back to the Old Testament and find out where man these guys rebelled against Moses and and the earth opened up and swallowed thirty whatever thousand of them and and uh, uh, with Korah and his bunch uh, and and you know. It's just like, I believe the Old Testament was was written, that man idea of what God was. Because man was afraid because he thought he sinned, and he was afraid that God was going to punish him. So he made this, out of, you know, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So they created this God, this Jehovah warring God of, of the Israelites that killed people. That, that That's what they created, and their, with their own minds they created it. And then Jesus came along and said, wait a minute, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, and God is love, and I laid down my life for my brethren as God. I don't partake in your violence, and I will submit myself to your violence and finish the, the uh, everything that's against the human race and against enemy, and bring it to an end right now, and I will start a new creation. And if you, it, I, I don't even think you got to accept it, but I was, I mean, what's wrong with saying a prayer anyway, but, but and accept, you, you know, just ask Jesus, Ask Yeshua is his real, real name. Ask the Creator of everything to show you if he's real. And just let's just let's just get back to the real thing. Saying a prayer and shaking somebody's hand and signing a card. Does I mean I think it probably opens a door and you can say at this date I did that. But but you know then you have to do something that's in here. You have to come inside and find out who you are. You are the purpose, not not the whole religious organization that you're in or whatever it is. Cult. Uh, witches uh, cult or you know uh, what do they call it witches coven you know or anything like that you, that you're in and you think it's all that you know Jehovah's Witness or the Mormons or whoever I mean what a, what a crock you know I mean it, it's all just man-made ideas if you go back and check out the, the dudes that started it they were a mess you know and and then anyway it's just all it's all crazy we need to stop this. You know, some of the guys that we that we read, they, they didn't even believe the world was round. You know, I mean, they believed it was flat. I mean, uh, Martin Luther and, and Calvin and those guys, they, it was all about that you're a, you're a bug, you're a worm, you're no good, and you're just just barely missing going to hell. That Jesus was so good to just bring you. And, and it's all about missing hell. It's, it's, you know, that's not even the deal. The deal is you walking in love to help other people and to bring the love of God to other people. That's what it's about. And we've missed the whole thing. We've missed it. And we put up our buildings and said, ooh, look at us, what we did. And, and it's just like we brought in all this prideful stuff. That's Lucifer. That's Lucifer. That's the, you know, the light bearer is what the Lucifer, Lucifer means. Lucifer in Spanish or Latin is, is, is to light. And, and we brought it down to, look at me, I'm all that. Look at what we did, look at this building. And we all got together and we built this tower of Babel all the way to heaven and we're just babbling about it. And you connect the dots with all that Babel and then he changed all the languages of the world. And, and I mean, it's like we, we babble about what we did. 
you know, it, it's just lay down and think about the things that he's given you and the things that are in you. And if we all get to walk in this consciousness of Christ, and then the church says, oh, that's new age, Christ consciousness. That's a different Christ than what we have. Well, maybe you made that Christ. You know, it's all about, he, he's not on the cross anymore, he's risen. And then he ascended and he took a human body back into the Trinity, a glorified body back into the Trinity. Ooh, that'll get you beat up in some places. You know, send us letters. Please, let's talk about this. You know, let's have a dialogue. Go ahead. And from, from what Don is saying, what I'm saying is, unfortunately, we make choices. And the choices we make are not the choices that God would want us to make or have. And as we, because the choices that we make either accuse or excuses your consciousness for what you are thinking. You know, and we all want, to, we all have tried to justify and make it sound good the reason we made that that choice or that that thought. You know, you, you look around in the world today and we could only cry um, because, no, we can do more than cry, but we get saddened because of what we see taking place in the world, which shouldn't. Everybody points a finger. Just like it was taught at one time, Eve pointed a finger to Adam, and Adam pointed a finger to Eve saying she did it. She said he did it. That, that doesn't do anything. As we recap, or as I recap what I understand this morning, I, I've looked. The news just is not good news. Uh, the good news is that you, the kingdom of God is within you. And that good news is like Don was saying, I believe, is to take it into this world. So it's a light. It's a truth. And there is no darkness when that light, that truth comes forth. It's not really... Uh, I didn't understand it all. God's word is is very uh, uh, scattered. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. But we we say His word. But you know, I I looked out there, and, and what I've seen in the past since November is really you go, wow, God. And God says, well, you're you're a God. You take care of it. Quit creating. Your, your atmosphere or your sphere of influence and let it be done in love. You don't have to agree with all of that stuff that's going on. So when I was looking at the news, I actually made some notations. What have you seen on the news? It's not been good. Look what France did. Now they're upholding uh, France with the uh, slaughter of human beings that took place in France because people's minds have been altered. Uh, and I, I say part of it is frequency change, but it's really, we do not entertain God. We do not sit before God and meditate to get the proper, the, the life-changing information that, that we should be walking with. You know, we, we need to get, if, if you could say it like what happens on a computer, we need a supernatural reset to, to get that out of our mind. Um, what our thoughts have been, what our actions have been, what our words have been. Um, you know, then in the news it was, uh, look what happened with the Russian jet. That's in everybody's mind. They're, they're meditating upon the outcome of what do we need to do to retaliate. See, those are like tactics of the enemy. The enemy, again, is, is our mind. Uh, we need to, have, to walk in the truth. You just saw last week, um, I guess it was last week, they had the thing uh, where a hundred, no, it's 14 people died in a school. From, no, it was a it was a governmental building. Well, no, really, it's a, a place that uh, people uh, gathered. <laughs> Inland, Inland Regional Center, uh, where they help uh, developing disabled people. It was like, when I heard about it, it was like, well, you know, these, these are, 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 Cowards, as far as I'm concerned, people that go in there with automatic weapons and shoot unarmed people. You know, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. That that's like that's like I don't know walking you know walking into a fifth grade you know schoolroom and just letting it fly. I mean, and then thinking and, and then have these people say, "Oh, they're martyrs because they did that." 
No, they're they're really bad. Uh, if there is a demon, then they had one. You know, and it's a mental demon, and, and they followed an ideology that promotes that kind of stuff. And, and it's like, how can you? I don't know. I don't understand. It doesn't even. It, it, I can't even grasp that. It's it it just. You know, but that's why, you know, the thoughts, they started thinking in that direction. They started believing some guy preaching his death, hate, kill everybody that's not us mentality. And, and then and then they went and did it. You know, they, they thought about it and thought about it and rested upon it and slept upon it and thought about how much they, you know, they come over here in America, helps them. And, and you know, the guy had a job and worked with those people. He, he knew those people for five years and still to do that. Can you imagine what kind of... What happened to him? What, what happened? How could you change totally? Why can't people change good? I mean, you even see like Britney Spears and people that are in the music industry, or and I can name some other ones that, that all they start out a nice young kid, and five years, whatever later, when they get to be a millionaire and, and, the, and they get influenced by these people with money, they turn into a, a, a look like a, a hooker on stage. I, you know, all of them. I mean, there's not there's not hardly one that I can think of that that didn't turn out, you know, they, it's like all of a sudden their, their mind, their thoughts changed, the people they hung around with changed, and, and instead of thinking about the, the God within them, they started thinking about whatever, I mean, what, why would you, why, you, you had so much influence over, over young, a lot of those people, their, their uh, fan base is like 10 to 12 year old girls, and you're going to go start acting like that and doing that, and so you can get them to do it? I mean, why, why wouldn't you, it, it's almost hard to, it's almost boring to promote good. You know, murder, rape, sex, sells. You know, and good, helping people, you know, that doesn't really, you know, you get a little, oh, I got goosebumps from that one. And then you move on to, to watching CSI. And it's okay to watch people cut up, blown up, shot up. All these shows on TV about blown up, cut up, shot up, cut their heads off and everything else. That's okay to watch the... You know, not the berry farm and the zombies on Halloween and all the blood and guts everywhere. But you can't make love or you can't, you can't, you, you know, I mean, naked people. Now, I'm not saying run around naked, but it's still it's so weird that it's okay to cut you up. But don't let me see you naked. You know, I mean, that's, you know, I just said a whole bunch of things and went in circles. But, but you know, if, if you're not walking as Christ, if you're not walking with true love or I don't, you know, no matter what he does, I forgive him no matter what he, you know, and, and sometimes it may take me whatever to get over it, but I try to get over it before dark, you know, it says to not let the, the sun go down on your anger. So to, to get rid of that anger with all of us, if, if we keep that and let it boil because this guy said that, and, wow. and then we, you know, because he says it to one of the people that are in our, are in our race, that he hates all of us, you know, I mean, it's like, I mean, you can't, it, they'll take away your basketball team, you know, and, and the people shouldn't have said those things, but it's like you can't, you can't hate somebody forever because they had a bad moment or an anger or they were drunk or they were on drugs or they were, had a fight with somebody or whatever, you know, I mean, it's like they don't, you know, everybody screws up, everybody has a bad day, a bad hour, a bad whatever, you know, I mean, it's like, get over it, I, I mean, let's just move on, and I don't think you can use that as, as an excuse to keep doing it, you got to change. But I mean, but, but you change by coming inside and finding the peace and the tranquility. It, the Prince of Peace, Jesus, they call him the Prince of Peace, and he's within you. Then we should have peace walking in us. The, you know, even the, those people I was talking about, they believed that Jesus was a great prophet and he did miracles. You know, and I, I mean, I, I don't understand that the whole world is, and like he said, the frequencies and, and all that, 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 you know, they, they all thought and the world was promoting that the Mayan calendar was going to stop and that the world was going to end on whatever it was. The, Should have already ended. December 21st, yeah. 2012 or whatever it was. And, and I think of all the other things, Y2K and everything else that never happened. But anyway, but it wasn't about the world ending. It was about the, the frequency changing and us going into a different era and, and what the world, and how these people knew that, I have no idea. Spiritually, I guess they had to know it. But, you know, but we are. The climate's changing. Everything's changing. That You know, the, the government's putting out that our cars and everything are doing it, and they could have a slight impact on it. But the world does go through a heating and a cooling process every so thousands of years. 
You know, and they don't even take that into account. We gotta, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta cut these people and get rid of these guys. And all the jobs and all the money that they gotta spend and all the, who are they helping? Well, my brother-in-law can really help you out there on this thing, yeah. And, and it's like, well, it's all about freaking money and greed. I mean, it's just, we gotta, we gotta please vote for somebody that never heard the word politician, the word politician, and who cares about people. There's gotta be somebody out there somewhere that cares about helping people and not just raping our country or the water and the resources and everything else so they can make a buck and get the barnacles off their off their yachts. I just it's gotta stop. Stop watching the Kardashians and start looking inside and finding out. I, I can't believe this whole society is just like fruit loop, man. And I gotta quit saying that too because they're changing right now. They're seeing that they are raised in a consciousness of their their frequency. Love is a higher frequency. Let come into that where you can walk and love people and think that that person is for you and not against you. A house divided cannot stand. And they've got us cut up in so many freaking different pieces. We're just not divided like North and South in the Civil War. We're divided like a pie. I'm trying to feed 100 people. We're cut up in all these different organizations and races and all this stuff. And everybody's hating everybody else and religions. And even in the Christian church, the Baptists and the Catholics and the whoever's and the whoever's. I mean, it's nuts. Stop it right now. That, those those are those are good words. In other words, let's change our thinking about whose we are and what we are, and begin to promote that which edifies and lifts up people. I mean, everything's crazy, wackle, out of balance, out of harmony. And if we get back in harm, it's like you drive a car that gets a bad spark plug and it starts missing. It be it becomes out of balance. It doesn't perform at its optimum. Uh, have you ever heard of a, a singing group, a, let's say a trio, and they're out of harmony and they're all singing in a different key? I mean, it's like it's like somebody scratching their fingernails on a blackboard, and that's what's going on. Nobody is flowing anywhere with anything. It, it's all you know. I, it's just. You know, some of the things you can't even mention because people are like, if you mention it. But that's stupid too, the ones I can't mention. You know, I mean, I mean, it's like, well, I can mention them, but but I don't want to, I, I don't care about kicking anybody off. You know, it, it's like, let's all flow together. I, I just don't, if you would check out history, if you would check out what's inside of you, you wouldn't be thinking like this. Don't listen to the newscasters anymore. They're paid very well to lie for the rich people. You know, there's only like seven people or whatever that own all the news, all the newspapers, all the everything. I, I just saw a thing yesterday. 158 families have put, have put over like 176 million in this presidential race so they can control all of us people. And they're, they're older uh, people. And it's like uh, the, our country is changing to younger and all the different races and stuff. And you've got this, these people that are trying to run the whole show. And, and they, they keep these people in office for, you know, some of those senators and stuff in office for 32, 34, 38 years. And it's like, that's too long. That's crazy. They, you know, they make deals with everybody and their mama. They're getting their pockets filled by all these different organizations. And we need to get uh, new people in there, people that are for us. Davy Crockett was a senator back in the 1800s, I think it was. And he didn't get paid anything for being a senator. You know, these guys are just woo, well off, and they still complain and still give themselves raises. Anyway, how did you get off on that? I don't but, know. Uh, uh, you know, but to walk as I am, we're going to have to cut this up or something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we'll have to cut it up. Um, what, what he's saying makes sense. I mean, we can sit here and we could talk uh, about this. You know, like he said earlier, he forgives me, I forgive him. So... We can be real. We, we don't have to walk in resentment or hurt or wounds. In, in a workplace, what happens if somebody's supposed to get promoted and the promoter promotes someone else? What happens? They draw on their hurt. They draw on the resentment. They draw on the hate. And suddenly, like he said, when this uh, last episode took place, look at all the hate that that person in harbored. And the outcome became a, a catastrophic. People were killed because of the outcome of somebody's hate and bitterness. Where, where, why did they do that? You could ask that all. And, and people point fingers like this. Why, why cannot the people live in her, her love? 
There was a song out a while back. What was it? What the world needs now is love, sweet a while love. Back, 1960. Yeah. Dusty Springfield. So it's, it's really <laughs> not changed, and that love is the love we're, we're trying to bring to you so that you could see we need to, rather than, you can disagree, uh, but that's as far as it should go. He gave you a quote from the Bible there. Why go to bed with anger or hate upon you and let it gel and, and meditate upon it all night long? Uh, we need to, we need to really go for change that's good and uplifting and, and brings people into a right mind, not a wrong mind. And we let a lot of things like you know, we, we talked about TV. We, through our eyes, which are eye gates, which let stuff in, which changes basically our balance, our harmonics, our, our vibrations, because it releases, our thought patterns release that which is not good, which keeps our body out of balance and out of balance chemically. Because those juices, that we gel up in our mind, continue to flow through us, keeping us in, in a state of disarray or, or a mental state changes because we're hearing and we're seeing and we're letting that lead us rather than the Spirit of God that's already in us that we are a part of. So we need change. Amen. You know, the, uh, you know, what, you know watching the news you know, I, we had this the lady. I know this lady that she gets up in the morning and watches the news. She goes to bed at night and watches the news. Everybody that's ever done anything with meditation or wanting to improve themselves says for the last 15 minutes at night and the first 15 minutes in the morning, you should meditate on good things, on on scripture, on love, on on the kingdom of God within you, whatever, something good, something positive and, and not negative. And every day doing that, you just come out and start hating. I looked at this this girl, and she's like in her early 20s, and she was with a, a couple things that we went to, and that her and this other guy played a guitar and a ukulele, and they sang songs, and they even made up songs about Christ, about about the love of God. And, and I got on her website the other night because she said something about something that I posted about guns or whatever. And, and her whole website is nothing but you know, for one side and against the other side. And she used to be nothing but love and God, and now she's just totally into this. And it's the same thing that this other lady was into, you know, that it's totally taken over their lives where they, it's all politics, it's all, oh, oh, get rid of these guys and go, oh, you know, and it's like, I just, and there are, it does, you know, even like what we were saying earlier with the, with the, the one shooting everybody, and then, then we want to return evil for evil, and the Bible says you're not supposed to return evil for evil, even though that's the way we've been taught with our life. If somebody smacks you in the face, you better smack them back. But, you know, I mean, that's the way men are raised up, you know, to be, oh, you can't let them treat you like that. And and it's like, that that's what happened over in Iraq when we went in there with Bush, you know, and look what this started. What, what if we wouldn't, I mean, they started it by doing the towers thing, but 9-11, but, but I mean, but it's still, if we wouldn't have, which we basically retaliated against the wrong guys anyway, but, but, you know, if we wouldn't have done that, and then and then we started backing the rebels that were in Syria, they turned into ISIS. We're the ones that armed them dudes. You know, I mean, it's like that. Our our whole thing is they, we, with, I, with Iran, we're the ones that put the Shah of Iran in there in 1970. He basically screwed that whole country. Then when they came back with the Khomeini, or, or their religious leader, they turned on us. But what if we wouldn't have put a guy that we wanted in there? The United States in the 70s put this dude in there, and he basically raped them, and and then we can't figure out why the whole world is mad at us because all the crap we do. You know, it's just it's just weird. I mean, the, you, you got to look at the whole picture. You just can't look at this one thing and say, oh, look at that. You know, it's like you're not even getting what's going on now, and they don't even tell you the truth. I mean, if somebody says the truth, they oh my God, they all come against them and all oh, racist and bigot and, and and whatever. When it's like, there's sometimes you need to check something out before you just open the door to it all the way, you know, and anyway, this, uh, I don't have time to read that, but, but even with, with all the stuff that we've learned over the, you know, the, the power of now, the now, that, that, that now uh, hope is, that now faith is, 
that, that na today is the day of salvation, that, that it's supposed to be about now. We're also worried about what happened yesterday, 10 years ago, or what's going to happen next year. And we're never in the now. We never know where we're at. We're, we're always praying for the weekend, playing for the weekend. We're, we're always, you know, looking for the vacation that we're going to take to Hawaii next year or whatever. And or what we're going to do to this or that. And we're never now. We're never, you know, what's going on right now in me? What does God want me to do? What is my spirit? What does my heart need? What, what do I need? What does my body need? What do my cells need? Why ever talk, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Every organ, every organ function properly, every cell. Do you ever talk to your body? Do you ever talk to your brain? Don't think that way. I speak peace. I speak the love of God. I speak to be, you know, not be stupid where you're going to get run over, but but to but to understand where, with discernment, it talks about having discernment. You can discern whether what to do with this situation. And you don't lay down and let somebody trample on you, but you also don't grab them by the throat and have their eyes bulge out either. You know, I mean, it's like all this stuff runs through my head. The way I was raised up, when people kick me off, the first thing I think about is going for the, the weak part of the neck and, and, and popping their eyeballs out. You know, I mean, and I got to get all that stuff that I've basically been in me since teenage years, you know, about standing up for who you are as a man, you know? I mean, and it's like you got all this junk from all the stupids that you ever ran around with. And, but, and then if somebody walks in peace or says they want to walk like Christ, they call them crazy. Or if they want to help somebody instead of stabbing them, you know, I mean, watch and see us off anyway. Praise God. Bless God.